It says Foley catheter insertion. So you're going to take your sterile field out of the package and use your package as your guard. Then you're going to open up your sterile field, taking the farthest part away from you. sterile gloves out, set those aside, and then you're going to take your draping, grab it by the corner only, shake it out so the glossy side is facing you, and you're going to fold it and drape your patient. Next you can take the next piece and throw it away. Once you get your sterile gloves on, you need to keep your hands above your waist. Take the cotton swabs out, and then not actually going to open it, but we open them and place them right there so they're ready to go. And then next, you take your gel out. the lube in here so it's ready to go when you're ready for insertion. Next you can take your specimen cup out. Fold. We're going to check the Check the balloon and make sure that there is no moisture leakage or if it's broken. And you can just leave that attached. Next, you cleanse the, take your non-dominant hand and then pull apart the labia and you're going to take your cotton swabs and then clean, take one and clean from the right side and then make sure you stay out of your sterile field and throw it away and then take a new one, clean the left side, same thing and throw it away and then your last one, you're going to take it and go from the top all the way down the center down to the bottom and throw it away. Catheter. And then put the lube on the tip about two to three inches. And then you're going to insert. Have your patient take a deep breath, and as they uh, breathe out, you're going to insert, and then with the tip pointed upward so it doesn't slip. Insert it about three to four inches until you get um, urine back into the catheter. And then once you get urine back, you're going to insert it about another inch. 
make sure you're in the bladder. And then you're going to switch hands here, keeping your dominant hand sterile. You're going to insert the 10 cc's into the balloon, and as you're doing that, you're going to watch the patient's face for pain or grimace, grimacing or anything. So I'm going to maintain force on the syringe. I'm going to take this hand and um, tug slightly and make sure that you get um, retention that it's in the bladder. Take that off. And then you can, you can keep your sterile gloves on and clean up your field. And take the bag out. And just hold this stuff properly and um, at this point, you can take your sterile gloves off and throw it away. Make sure the patient is covered up. And then um, put clean gloves on. And then you're going to secure the catheter to the patient's thigh. Make sure that it's loosely um, secured with tape or um, a catheter secure holder and you're going to secure it to the inner thigh and make sure that it's loosely and um, flexible so they can freely move and then you're going to take it and attach the drainage bag to um, a non-movable part in the bed and then make sure all the cords are untangled or kinked and wrapped up on the bed for gravity to allow urine to flow down into the bag and then you would document um, the procedure and any um, urine that has been